Okay, I've decided we'll go fix the transition between these two clips because it will give us the chance to look at another very important editing feature, merging audio clips. So let's zoom in a little bit. And you can see we've got a perfect mirror of the crash right over here. Now the thing is, I want the lead in to be a little bit less pronounced than the actual crash. So to do that, I'm gonna drag my crash and drop it a little ways along. How about right around there? Let me zoom back out and see what that sounds like. I'll solo it. I might want to put just a tiny fade across that transition, so I'll use the crossfade tool for that. And, uh, you know, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so I can see exactly what's going on. So let's put a little fade right over the attack part of the crash just to make sure that, you know, it's fading in properly. So there we go. We've got a great little fade. If we zoom back out. Let's hear what that sounds like. Oops, went the wrong way. I like it. So I'll zoom out more so we can see both of these regions. In order to make editing easier for myself, I'm going to actually merge these two audio regions together. To do that, I'll use the merge tool or the glue tool. So I'll press escape to get the floating tool palette and then choose the glue tool. Here we go. I'll select both these regions and then click to glue them together. Now I get one final warning dialog. It says non-contiguous audio regions require the creation of a new audio file. Well, that kind of makes sense because Logic can't really just stick two different audio files together in the same region. A single region can only point to a section of one audio file, not the section of two audio files. So I'll create a new audio file, and there we have it. It's called Long Crash Symbol AU Merged. Well, that's a pretty interesting name. If we go to our media tab and check out the bin, we'll find this audio file right down here near the bottom. And incidentally, if you're not sure which region matches up with which audio file, just go ahead and select the region. Note if I select the synth harp, I can see that it points to this file right here. Similarly, if I go and select the some music audio region, I can see that it's actually this region right here. So our long crash is this region.